Hey, good Wednesday afternoon, everybody. Storing Team Meteorologist Griffin Hardy here with this week's edition of Weather Wednesday on CBS42.com and on CBS42 on Facebook. And it's officially fall now here in Alabama. That means pumpkins and football and unfortunately hurricanes. Those are all big fall staples here in Alabama. Historically, we are still very much in the middle of hurricane season. This is a graph showing historically where tropical activity has peaked. The historical peak is on September 10th, but October is still very much when we have a lot of tropical storms and hurricanes in the Atlantic Basin. And I thought it'd be good to look back at the most recent big October storm that we had in central Alabama. That was, of course, Hurricane Opal back in 1995, made landfall with 125 mile per hour winds on October 4th, and it peaked at Category 4 strength in the Gulf with 150 mile per hour winds. This was a very impactful storm for central Alabama. Many of you may remember it. As the storm came ashore, here's the radar imagery making landfall really near Fort, Fort Walton Beach in Pensacola, Florida, but then it continued basically right up the uh, I-65 corridor up into central Alabama, still impacting us as a pretty potent tropical storm. This storm caused a lot of damage along the coast. Here's a look at just some of that damage all along the Florida Panhandle coastline. This is Highway 98, which was just completely washed out by the storm, producing four to seven feet of storm surge down near Orange Beach. Here's some of the highest wind speed measurements that were recorded from the storm down in South Alabama, of course, closer to the shoreline. That's where the strongest winds were. So 98 miles per hour in Ozark. That's just to the north of Dothan. 90 miles per hour in Montgomery. Tropical storm force winds elsewhere, including closer to our neck of the woods. Calera clocked in at 49 miles per hour. Birmingham at 48 miles per hour. Tuscaloosa at 46. But of course, the winds were not the biggest impacts. We had quite a lot of prolific rainfall totals, close to 10 inches of rainfall in Birmingham that prompted a lot of flooding, as well as up towards Penson, around eight and a half inches of rain. And those highest rainfall totals were, in fact, closer to where we were here in central Alabama. Even though the strongest winds were along the coast, we got more rainfall than places like Mobile, where they only had just short of eight inches of rain. So again, even though we're this far inland, we still have the potential to see a lot of impacts from these tropical systems. So again, four to seven feet of storm surge in Orange Beach, over 2.6 million people across Alabama lost power from that storm, and it contributed to two deaths in Etowah County, where a tree fell in a mobile home. So it's very important to remember, it's still hurricane season, even though you want to think about that cool, crisp fall air. Uh, yep, we still have to think about that going into October. And right now, we've got two active tropical systems out there. This is Tropical Storm Karen and what is now Hurricane Lorenzo. They're not going to pose an immediate threat in the near future, but it looks like these will be our next best chances, if anything, uh, to potentially get some relief from our droughts. That's really the only way that we're going to see any relief from our current drought conditions, especially in Shelby County and northern Chilton County, where we have a severe drought. So again, this is still hurricane season. There's still a potential to maybe run into some tropical storms and hurricanes in the Gulf. So be sure to keep that in mind going to October. This has been your edition of Weather Wednesday for this week. Make sure you stay tuned for more editions of Weather Wednesday every Wednesday right here on CBS42, CBS42.com and CBS42 on Facebook. Have a great Wednesday, everybody.